Well, as we reported last week, a ninth Catholic priest has been shot and killed in Mexico in just the past four years. The murder followed an attack on the Archbishop of Durango in northern Mexico after mass last week. The Mexican Bishops Conference is responding, saying in part, quote, it is a painful reminder of the serious situation that we face as a society in which the presence of organized crime and impunity continue threatening the lives and safety of so many. We go now to David Ramos, editor-in-chief of Aussie Prensa, who has been following this story. David, great to be with you tonight. Uh, first off, can you talk to us more about the priest that was murdered uh, last week in Capacho, Mexico? And do we have any updates? Have there been any arrests? Uh, well, he was a, a pastor. Please, well, first of all, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for having me here. Well, uh, this priest is, as many others here in Mexico, here in Latin America, a good priest who's serving uh, the the lay people. He was going to to celebrate the mass when he was killed. Uh, as far as we know, until now, the authorities uh, doesn't have a clue about what has happened, who has killed him, and they are saying they're looking for the murder for the murderer, but. Uh, as far as we know, the experience says in Mexico that probably we won't have uh, a person convicted for this crime. It's what has happened with the last eight priests killed in, in this in these last four years. And it's been what's going on, what is happening with every almost every single priest and even cardinals that's been murdered in Mexico in these years. Mm, it's so shocking and sad. Um, David, why do police say his killing resembles such crimes by the drug cartels? Yeah, it's because uh, it, the the modus operandi, the the way it's it's being killed, uh, uh, probably uh, getting in the way of this priest when he was driving and stopping him and shooting at at the car is is the way that the the cartels, the organized crime, works here, but. You can never tell. You you could think that this looks like the murder of the two Jesuits last year when when they were murdered even inside the church. Uh, it was related, or or that's what the authorities said. It was related with organized crime with the cartels in Mexico. But even in that case, last year we don't have a full story about that because uh, authorities never uh, captured the supposed author of this crime and the supposed author was found dead but was found murdered himself so we we at the catholic church wouldn't trust that much the authorities to give us a clear answer of what has happened in this case as in many other cases of murder of aggression of violence against catholic priests and catholic lays yeah, I was going to ask you that. I mean, what is the government doing about this, and how are they responding to these murders of these priests, if at all? Well, probably uh, what we would remember is that we just uh, 30 years has passed since Cardinal Posadas, then Archbishop of Guadalajara, was murdered. And 30 years after that, we still don't know what has happened. The authorities doesn't have, they don't have a, a clear answer of who ordered the murder, who murdered the cardinal. So if you can kill in Mexico a cardinal, then you can kill whoever in the Catholic Church. You can kill a bishop, you can kill a, a, a priest, and obviously you can kill any, any Mexican citizen walking around. And there will be, as we can see, no consequence. Mm. It really is unbelievable. We're almost out of time, but one thing I do want to touch on is, you know, we do know that Mexico has a really high murder rate overall. David, can you give us a, a sense of what it's like there, you know, on the ground in Mexico, and is this impacting pilgrims who go to holy sites like Our Lady of Guadalupe? Well, uh, Mexican people, Mexican Catholics, uh, we, we will say that there's this kind of resignation of what's going on. You have to live. You have to live in this society. You have to. You have to go to work. You have to, to go to to mass. You have to. You have to live. So most people just keeps going. But yeah, this is a feeling of 
of uh, loneliness uh, of of the of having no authority because as, as i tell you if a like catholic thinks hey they just murder another priest the the ninth priest in this year so and if that case doesn't get solved what's going on about me and this is a clear signal that uh, that the criminals sent we can kill whoever we want and we won't pay any consequence about that because the authorities are going to do nothing about, uh, against us and that's the feeling that the people get of this kind of crimes and i think that it's the message the the cartels the organized crime is is sending to the to the mexican people no one uh, can uh, get away from us it's very concerning, and we're praying for all of you down there in Mexico. David, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with thank us. Thank you. We appreciate it. God bless. God bless.